Hello, God bless you. This is Dart Lee here, otherwise known as Prep Bible. Just wanted to take a few minutes and let you know why my wife and I and our son, why we prep. So maybe you can draw the conclusion and see if we're crazy or not. I think uh, to be prepared and have a plan lets a person rest easy at night with all the volcanoes, hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, the lightning, wildfires, and the hail, especially where I live in the country. We experience power outages here in the north part of the country every winter and every summer. Sometimes they last for days. First thing that happens is everybody goes and buys generators and fuel and they clear out the grocery stores. We have for this reason we store up a lot of food and weapons and ammo basically we're planning for a long camping trip that's going to show up unexpectedly my wife and I and kids um, they could be there could be social unrest uh, awkward weather patterns there could be an epidemic or a pandemic power outages food shortage solar flares an EMP attack all these things could happen and have been happening with more frequency and more intensity. Now the wife and I are Christians and we, uh, of course we're going to trust the Lord but the Bible is full of examples of people who had a plan and were prepared. Now if you look at some of the stuff we have it's just basically stuff that we're going to use if there is a problem or not. Right here we have a year supply of food for my wife and I and my son. Now this is not going out to Ponderosa every night or Burger King. It's designed to keep us alive. We got our guns in case gun control goes crazy. We got lots of ammo. If you've been following the price of ammunition the last few years, it's ridiculous now. Batteries, flashlights, knives, radios, lighters, fire starting equipment. Your N95 mask, ammo, bullets, ammo, 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 bug spray, knives, hatchets, wind up radios, wind up lanterns, water filtration, seed gardens, different spotlights, camouflage ponchos, folding shovels, rope, slingshot ammo. Of course, a very good weapon right there. Something a lot of survivalists and preppers fail to mention. Is that baby right there? It's deadly, it's quiet, and that thing was under 20 bucks. A slingshot. My wife and I are blue collar. We're probably lower middle class people. I have two years of college. My wife has six years of college. Um, we take our old drinking money and our old gambling money. And now we prep. What you're looking at is just a small sample of what we have. It's ready. I carry a CCW. My wife is going to uh, take the same class. She knows how to kill and gut a deer and process the meat. In case anything ever happens to me. Like I said, basically we're prepared to go on a very long camping trip on a minute's notice. We not only have bug out bags, but I have just purchased a Jeep Sahara to be used as a bug out vehicle. We have bug out scooters that are quiet and have very good fuel economy. We're prepared. I make these videos so you can be prepared too. Might save your life someday. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos at Prep Bible. Amen.